Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we're in the LZ Alpha. We've been here for about 550 cycles, and we are desperately, desperately trying to deal with this petroleum boiler that I've got set up down the bottom here. So far, we throw in crude oil down this side. It comes in over this single metal tile, which warms up to a ridiculous temperature and starts warming all this petroleum up. Unfortunately, this now means that we have petroleum of ridiculous ridiculous temperatures. Did I mention how ridiculous those temperatures was uh, that we are trying to deal with over here? Over here we have been dealing with those ridiculous temperatures, but I've got a little bit over the top. We finally got to the point where we can start running the steam turbines here, but only if we put in an ice-based thermal uh, shift plate here. That works out pretty well. It does dump a whole bunch of liquids in here, a bunch of water, but at the same time it cools everything down well enough that we can start turning over some of these gases. But I think the fact that this uh, crude oil here is now down to a nice balmy 250 degrees we could probably go ahead and put the thermal aqua tuner in and I definitely want to put it around this way around so that you know that and that don't match, you know. <laughs> well, the other problems that I'm going to have here is, of course, how do we get the power into it? I don't think I actually want this top bit here being, um... Oh, no. Does that say lead? Oh, oh, no. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, what, I, what I actually want to do, let's get this pipe because it is made out of iron. We'll do, we'll do this like this instead. But the thing that I didn't want to do... Oh, what point does that stop being iron? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're going to go in with the insulated pipe. We're going to go igneous rock and we're going to pull that up here. Why igneous rock? Because it's slow heating and there's a high overheat temperature. But as I was saying, power is going to be a bit of an issue coming in here. I'm wondering whether we want to kind of knock through this side. I've got a feeling that's actually going to cause us more trouble than would actually be worth. I could could technically replace this block under here and then take this block out but I think maybe it's going to be easier going through this side block over here so let's try and destruct that uh, and then also get a power line view over here if I can that's not going to get placed down like that okay I want this to be super high priority does this have people on the job straight away uh, mad Frank is on the job he also made a little delivery over to the ice, te ice temperature shift plate over here so uh, yeah that, that's going to be interesting let's see what happens in the next couple of seconds so I've got some insane hope that eventually this area up here might be somewhat livable for a duplicate outside of their atmosphere suit. Uh, we're not going to be working towards that, but I'm hoping that at some point that can be so. Ah, oh, I can just pop that down there like that. That would be beautiful. Let's get some heavy watt wire on the go. Yeah, iron ore is the one. And we'll go up over that and then again up and through to that. That would be great if we could get this running like this. Still not sure about this 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 um, thermoregulator up here. I've got a feeling the moment we get the thermo aqua tuner in place, that's going to get ripped out. But of course, for all of this to work, we're going to need some liquids incoming. And I think I know how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a liquid bridge and we're just going to kind of jump it into there. Uh, I also want to get this insulated pipe. And we're going to pull this down and across over there. Yes, indeed. Because if we backtrack this pipe, uh, we should be able to come all the way up here. And more importantly, we've got this line over here. This has got like spare petroleum just kind of kicking around in it. Uh, we will make use of this. I'm going to pull it over this way. We're going to go down. Uh, where are we going to go with it? Let's try and figure out the actual route, shall we? What I mean, like, what I really want to do is like this, uh, but I don't know whether that's going to be a, uh, a mistake or not. Uh, if I go diggy down here and diggy across here, that, that should work out, right? That should work out. And now the wait for the build. Of course, of course. One thing I do want to do that um, will not be happening for a little while because, oh, it's so hot around here, is of course the fact that the uh, this liquid Liquid reservoir. I want, I want to put in the liquid reservoir, the, 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 the double uh, heat sensor here. You might remember that we've got liquid coming out of here. The first thing that it does is check to see whether it is too cold. Uh, if it's too cold, it comes back around, doesn't get chilled. But if it's not, it goes up and gets chilled. And then on the way back down, looks to see if it's too, too hot. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I can't remember exactly how we set this up, but this made sure that the uh, liquids coming out of here were about seven degrees as opposed to being chilled down more or uh, getting too hot. So yeah, we want to put one of these definitely in the situation somewhere. Cycle 548. Oh, that little auto save start. But we're actually going to be following Mad Frank around. Of course, he's going to be getting a bit more sleep than most other people because we send him to the other side of the rock. You know, I really thought we were following him here. What, what do we do? Follow Cam. I fairly sure I'd set that up. Uh, but the reason that we're following Mad Frank is because he's the man with the plan, or at least he's the man that we have planned for, to go down and be doing all the serious, serious underground business. The hot and humid work that can only be accomplished down by a, a very serious builder. And of course, Mad Frank is the most serious of builders that we have. I think he is actually the most serious. Can we have a look at the vitals? Does it tell us any of the skill points or anything here? It doesn't. Let's have a look at the actual skill tree and see if anyone other than Mad Frank is a super digger, super builder, super 
constructor. That's what I wanted. No, it turns out no one else even likes to build. Oh my gosh. Well, Mad Frank, more important than I thought he was. But anyway, as I was saying, he's now down here to go around and do a fair variety of things. More particularly interesting how this works, because of course, this could very easily end up leaking liquids everywhere. It didn't. It has put a little bit of sour gas over that side. I think I'm all right with that. We'll, we'll just ignore that for the moment. Uh, and all these deliveries going down to uh, to make these wires and stuff be put in place. It's a wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. I've got a feeling we're going to have to try and set up some more iron. If I go and have a look at the refined metal over here. Yeah, we are almost out of iron. So let's come back over to the metal refinery and be like, hey, can you do, uh, I don't know, 10 of them? I always I always do in, uh, in batches of 10. I don't know whether that's exactly what we want, but that's what's going down. Scolding. Miss, why are you scarred? It's because this is so hot, right? It, it's got to be so... Well, actually, it's all this carbon dioxide down here, but I don't know what to do with it. Maybe we need to get the carbon scrubber running through there. That might be a plan. Now that we've got extra water flowing, it should be a little bit easier as well. Oh, look, this has been broken. Okay. So it seems to be when they go running through this water. Let's get rid of the water. And to be fair, I, uh, I do that every time. I think we get a little bits of steam caught in here, and then it comes out and... Um, and, and gets into the environment and then drops below 100 degrees and there makes itself a little water puddle. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, look, this this little bottle of water here is just fast on its way up to too hot a temperature. Hmm, what can we deal with that? I don't know, I've asked Jelly to come and sweep it up, but instead he's gonna go delete stuff. All right, fair enough, mate, whatever. Ah, hmm, yeah, I do see a bit of an issue here. Also, lots of scolding going on, but I don't think I'm that bothered by it. Uh, let's just run a ladder down like that. Maybe maybe that will work. I don't know. Don't let the hydrogen out. Don't let the hydrogen out. Uh, you, you can't be letting the hydrogen out. It's a corner, right? There's, is that how that works? I don't know. Did it, did it suddenly just come popping up through the top of there, or did we delete it? I have no idea. Also, why isn't this temp shift plate being built? Probably because I put nines on everything else, right? Yeah, we got loads of ice. I wonder why it's not being worked on. You know what? I'm going to just slightly raise the uh, priority here so that the melt ice that's on it, let's have a look. Content zero. The ice that's on it's already melted. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, here we go. All right. Yes, the uh, the ice plate is going down. I've got a feeling, actually, because we've got... where Where is it? There's a te temperature shift plate in the background here that it might actually just kind of shift out the temperatures too much. I don't know whether this will actually work. Yeah, look at that. And it just kind of et it all. Maybe I want to get rid of these temperature shift plates. I mean, obviously I want this to work. That That's what I actually want to be going on, is all this to be working. So uh, as soon as we get to that, that should hopefully be a little bit more uh, interesting than just watching some water get made, it turns out. And I just fill this up with all the steam, right? Yeah. But at least we're right back, right beside one of these um, storage compactors here. So this should should go pretty quickly. Well, Missaline does keep sacrificing herself for the greater good, which is, you know, that, that's her ammo. That is something that happens. Um, but the real question, oh no, is whether she's going to be able to finish the job or not. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. This water is quite warm over here. I, I've got a feeling we want to send her... Send her off to the triage cot before we end up having to... to ooh, is she going on her own? Is she going on her own? That would be cool if she is. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, she's going to the triage cot. Okay, that that's cool. That's cool. Normally, she carries on working until she falls over. So, um, yeah, nice. I mean, no, work yourself more. Be like Mad Frank. Work yourself into an exhausted state every day and then not get enough sleep because you're, you're working too hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, we got through all the igneous rock here. Hmm. Thankfully, there's more in this oil over here. I always forget how long it takes to build pipe. Uh, it's just like little segments left, but that's another... That's another cycle down. Another scolding. Many scoldings. Uh, these guys up here. All right, well, you, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. Let's go and see if we need to put anyone in triage today. Miss Align is uh, having a chill. Obviously, we're going to put Mimi in. We can't put the doctor in there. I mean, he's the doctor. Who's going to look after him? Okay, let's try something that's looking a little bit more necessary every time I look. I'm going to pop this down here. I'm going to go for a bit of a plumbing, if, if I can. Any moment. Oh, it's that beginning of day stutter. Uh, I want to get the insulated pipe going in. Oh, is there a way I can swap these around, actually? So as I was saying, we're going to take this water in, and then we're going to take this, as soon as I get all the things that I want, up and out. And that should, hopefully, now give us some nice uh, uh, carbon dioxide draining. Eventually. We'll get, we'll, it'll get there, right? It'll get there. Alright, here we go. We've got some petroleum flowing out of here. That's nice. That's nice. Is it going to go anywhere beyond this? It is. It turns out that we've got a lot of pipes connected. Okay, I'm all about this. We've got some scolding going on. Whatever. No, no one cares about your scolding. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Maybe we can watch Mimi go, uh, finish this. This will be great as well. Uh, but this is coming along and it's going to get interrupt, uh, introduced to this system over here. I'm hoping that it will flood through and fill everything up 
but we've got Mad Frank coming over here and dealing with the power. Once the power is sorted, of course... Oh, we've let all a bunch of that sour gas out, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, once, of course, the power gets flowing, that should all work out well. Look at that. That is horrific. All right, what can we do to fix that? <laughs> Hopefully when this line of, uh, of of pipe gets finished, it will redirect itself. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh no, this natural gas guys has just gone through. Oh no, we're gonna lose power here. We're gonna lose the power. Oh, this this might be bad. Next activity, 40 cycles. That's, that's possibly very bad. <laughs> Worked mad, Frank, all the way overnight because the night time got cooled. And I was like, no, 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 no. You're going to come and do this. And it turns out that it took him so long to get down here that he didn't get to sleep at all. Uh, feel a little bit bad about that. A little bit bad. Uh, Jelly's on that one. And over here, we've got loads of people being on the build. Uh, thankfully, just before night time, Jelly came along and did a whole bunch of deliveries there. Mad Frank, not looking happy. I, I can understand, mate. No, no one really likes leaving you uh, doing all this stuff overnight. And it would have been a lot nicer if you could have done it without having to run overnight. But, you know, here we are doing it like this. Uh, Jelly, what are you up to? You're picking up some iron. Is iron being just stored in here now? Let's have a look. Refined metal. Yes, it is. How much have we got? Iron, iron, iron. Wow, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so we got 218 kilograms. That's actually a little bit more than I thought we had. Uh, sorry about the yellow uh, outline around here. I suppose technically we could turn it back off now, but you know what? I'm fed up of waiting for them, so we're just going to make sure that it all gets done as quick as possible. Why did that just do a little cycle there? Ah, oh, it's because it's ticked over. Yeah, it's 600 seconds. I uh, really need to find out a better way of doing that, but right now this works for us. Okay, so that is power in place, and now finally, as long as it all works beautifully for us, this should be the bit of petroleum in place for us. Yes, yes, yes. Let's check the F6. Hmm, okay, this definitely needs a little bit of a rearrange. We're getting bits coming back down and through rather going up and over. Uh, but we can think about that. I think the way that I'm going to do this, in fact, is to go... Let's go um, plumbing liquid bridge. Do that. And then... Oh, I need that bridge there. I really do need that bridge there. Okay, let's, let's see what happens if we just fix that like that. And hopefully that will work out. The reason I need this bridge here is, of course, this, this line... So, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it'll work out, right? It'll work out. Okay, Mad Frank, come along to fix this bridge for us. And now the question is, can we... Where are you? Liquid bridge, insulated liquid pipe. Let's destruct that. Hopefully Mad Frank's just going to turn around. Drop a little petroleum on the floor. That's fine, whatever. Does the other side flow, though? N no. <laughs> okay, this... Stop. Stop, stop. This is wrong. This is this, this section here is wrong. We need the feedback loop coming from here, like, straight away. Uh, if this is over temperature, let's let's have a look. We can then feed it back. How did we do it over here? This is, this, is, this is where it starts, right? If it's too hot, we need to feed it back. That's what this one does. Okay, so it comes out of here. Let's, let's have a look. We're going to go uh, plumbing, liquid shut off, steel, because it's the only thing that can deal with it. Uh, we need to have a gap in between to get the temperature. Let's come down here and go liquid pipe thermo sensor. We pop that there. All of this um, in, uh, automation up there is probably going to have to move around, but we'll do that. Uh, and now we need to figure out what the plumbing's doing. This plumbing needs to go back and into there, but I don't know how we did it without causing trouble. Let's just see what happens when we do it like this. I've got a feeling it's not going to work, but we will find out. Another thing we have to do, get rid of this liquid bridge now that we're full of the system, right? That That's that's definitely a thing. Where, where are you, Mr. Liquid Bridge? That is you. Yeah, please, please come and destroy this. Okay, temperature sensor. If you are above um, 50 degrees... <laughs> Feedback. Let's see what happens with this. I've got a feeling it's going to be bad because we're not putting back into this pipe here, which is kind of where we should be putting back. So how about if we destroy that one and then use a liquid bridge to only put in if... Is that the right way around? Yeah. If uh, we... If we can, if this pipe is empty, right? That That's how that's going to work. Let's see if it will work like that. Because, of course, what we're doing right now is undoing all the wonderful work we performed trying to get the temperature down in here. Ah, oh, it's, it, it's actually a little bit painful. It's actually very painful. What Almost as painful as that, uh, that, that 
autosave at the beginning of the day. Okay, this should now be it. We don't have any power running into there. That's that's something that we can fix relatively simply, I'm hoping. Uh, as long as I can grab the right thing to copy, that should just be able to go across and up to that. And of course, we're going to have to try and get this built as quick as possible as well. I completely forgot about the power. Always, always forget about the power. Okay, here we go. No power, no power. Why is the... Why has the grid got no power? All right, it's sort of working. It's sort of working. We're just going to pass this back and round until it gets down to a reasonable temperature, right? Okay, so let's uh, disable this building for now. Uh, and let the thermal aqua tuna have all its power, right? Mm, it's good, but it's also unpowered. Oh, no. <laughs> so the big problem that we got here is, of course, power. And if we come up over this way, maybe we can see why we've got some problems with power. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn this up. And we're going to deconstruct it. Uh, the problem here, obviously, we have stolen all the hydrogen. All the hydrogen is gone and there's nothing left to chill this out with. So I'm going to sidestep this issue entirely. We're going to build a ventilation and we're going to go down to uh, their gas pump. There it is. Now, do I want to build it out of the gold amalgam or do I want to build it out of the steel? I think I'm just going to jump straight to the steel. How much do we actually have right now? 750. We've got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's definitely going to be a winner there. Okay, wh where is my boy Mad Frank? He's obviously the guy who's going to come along and deal with this here. All right, man, how's it going? All right, we, we got some weight. We're in the coal biome right now. It'd be really nice if there was some sort of way of me asking them to come and set up the uh, the, the steel beforehand, uh, because I've got, I've got all this time of just waiting for Mad Frank to run across the entire asteroid. He could very well have had some stuff delivered, but I've just noticed how high some of my... Hey, Mimi, how you doing? Oh, yeah, it's because Mimi keeps running running on the, down here to exist in a very hot space all on our own. Uh, getting, getting pretty severely burnt. I, I really need to figure out some way of getting her to get into back into an atmospheric suit. In fact, we know how to put her back into an atmospheric suit because I can't, I don't know if you guys are aware, we got the water flowing again. So there is oxygen being produced. So we could quite easily just come in here and go, you know what? We're going to turn this one back on and we're going to say... Hmm, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We want to have, in particular, Mimi. We're going to turn off permissions for everybody, actually. We want Mimi. Uh, we want... Who else ends up downstairs? Forest and Misaligned. There we go. That's who we're going to have in the next set of atmosphere suits. All right, anyway, as I was saying, let's get this gas pump into place. Go straight to the steel. I'm going to put that down like that. And I am going to, bam, start those uh, alerts off. Oh, we had some steel just in the base. Nice, nice, nice. Not going far at all. Uh, hopefully, Mad Frank's going to get in there. And then we don't really, hopefully, have to worry that much about the overheat temperature down here anymore. We it will be some uh, consideration at some point. But right now, 275 degrees. Oh, yeah. I don't think this even spits out that hot, that hot does it? Yeah, no, 150. Yeah, we're fine. Miss Lion's not, though. Uh, hey, uh, do you know what? Actually, Miss move to over here and you you can have your suit now yeah hey me mimi you know what you can also move here mm, let's put her in the hospital first all right now hopefully with all of these turning over nicely we should be able to come down here and see if we've got any more power flowing down it's not ideal actually if i'm to be honest with you not ideal at all let's have a look here we've got every now and then some power flows through but mostly not mostly it's just eating everything hmm <laughs> Always like to point out that we've had some water flow at some point. Nice. Mmm, looks like we have a big carbon dioxide backing up issue. That's definitely going to have to be something that we deal with at some point. Hopefully with the power of this guy. 78. Oh, it's going to take a while for him to actually get in, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got some actual cooling now. Oh, there must be just enough power kicking around in the system for this to uh, turn over a few times. And then hopefully we're going to let some, some of the liquids out over this way, some petroleum. There's a few that are, like proper getting down to it like 50 37 there oh there it goes is that a 37 yeah okay hopefully now this will just keep turning over and putting out some very cold liquids that's that's my hope anyway it's gonna take a while though wow look at this i'm not sure how i feel about the cypher coming in here to get hurt let's uh let's turn that down i did want him to come and cuddle up to this egg uh, i assume he's done it already and now he's lullabied yeah and 25 percent of the cycle this guy's gonna be ready very soon we can start eating through the carbon dioxide dioxide again that would be very useful you know i've realized that we need to keep this uh keep this one flowing 
Whilst we don't need to keep this cool, we definitely need to keep this stuff up here cool. So how do I go about resetting that? Perhaps we can... Let's open up the, the, the automation overlay. We could probably just get rid of this, right? That, that, that will work for us. Whilst we're on that, I might also destroy this bit of automation wire so this stays constantly off, doesn't receive the green signal, because we don't need to chill this bit down anymore because this, this gas pump can deal with ridiculous temperatures, hotter than this is ever going to spit out. So we'll... Ah, oh, wait, but of course we need to cool it. Ignore that. Ah, Ign oh, they, they, they've already done it. They've already done it. <laughs> Problem with having an uh, efficient workforce, they, they, they get, get around and do stuff way before you're there to deal with it. But yeah, that, that's why we're trying to chill this down so that we can have these being uh, relatively cool as well. Even though we are trying to chill the area down around them as well, uh, it, it's getting a little hot. It's getting a little hot. So when we're fluctuating with power, quite a few of these super hot ones like to escape. It's a bit of a shame. It is a, a great shame, actually. Uh, but it looks like mostly whilst the power our flows we are dealing with the heat so we can hope this will work i hope this will work okay this guy's free let's see what he can do i mean he's just a tiny baby right now he's not going to eat that much um this this overheating cycle that's on the go here we definitely need to deal with it i don't know whether we want to replace more gas pumps i mean this one could even just be made out of gold amalgam i mean that would work right why isn't forest in a suit yet i'm sure i said that he should wear one all right let's go ventilation gas pipe gold amalgam as we said it's, it's like the last of our gold but whatever we'll take it probably could do with making this wood burner out of something else as well what's it made out of right now let's have a look properties iron uh, it'll be fine not sure what temperature the oil these guys excrete is is it the same temperature as the carbon dioxide they take in i mean that that, that would be interesting to find out really having issues with heating right now it's uh there's a big all-round problem uh we definitely need something more reliable than this <laughs> Probably a very bad idea, but let's try this plan quickly, just to, just to try and get that, that power started. Look, Mad Frank's up here. He doesn't need to be up here. Let's move him down here instead. There is no need, literally no need for that power to be getting charged up there. Yeah, 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 cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see what's going on. I wonder why it is we're burning through all the hydrogen when there's two of them, but only, uh, but you don't when there's one. Not like the systems aren't exactly the same. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're also going to do something we've not done in a while. I'm going to open up this and see if we can't get this carbon skimmer dealing with a lot of the uh, lot of the, 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 the gas problems around here. Actually, checking the water out. No, no, it can't. Okay, how about for now? We cut that, we cut that, and we get this insulated pipe and we bring it into there. Let, let's see what happens with this, shall we? All right, hopefully that will stop the 300 degree stuff getting into the system, because obviously that was coming mostly from here. Uh, molten lead and petroleum. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I'm fine with that. There we go. Spitting out much cooler stuff now. I mean, I'm sure this is the best use of their time. How could it not be? How could it not be? Still not producing anywhere near enough. We need we need so, so much bigger systems. So much bigger systems. Well, after a night of this running pretty smoothly, we brought out all the temperatures from 204 down to 98. I think that's pretty good. We do have a little bit of problem with the flow here, so we're, we're now actually drawing all the heat out of this petroleum here through uh, through weird methods. I think what I actually need to do again is to put a uh, hang on, let's do it. Put that up there and then destroy that one, and that should oh, it's going to release a whole bunch more. Let's not destroy that for the moment. Uh, no, no, that's uh, that, that one. And we'll, we'll figure out what we can do there. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Is it doing it how I want it to do? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find... Yeah, kind of. Kind of. And then this lot should move next, right? Let, let's see. As soon as the next one goes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That... That'll do. It's janky, but I'll take it. Okay, because I want to cut that pipe, I am going to sweep up all this petroleum here, and hopefully then we'll have room to drop some more. Okay, I think another thing we're going to have to do, if we come into the automation and... Go oh, no, this is not going to work. We need the power flow. I was about to try and shut off the flow to cool it down before we take... Uh, take the gases over this way, but the, the the sheer amount of power we need at the moment means I can't really do that. Though I can now. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, go ahead and cut that. So that that should hopefully bring us great success. I don't know who. Look, look, look Luna, can you, can you get down here? You're you're literally right here. Let let's do it. Let's spill that petroleum. Let's let the uh, let the liquids flow. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. 191 is a lot 
a lot more chill than we had up rocking up here anyway. I'm really tempted, actually. Can we click on the petroleum? We can't click on the petroleum. Let's try it over here. Petroleum, click it. What's the uh, minus 50? So let's actually bring this down to if above zero. Let's see what happens there. I'd like to know. I, well, I, I think I know what's going to happen. We're going to be spitting out little bits of uh, of petroleum that are close to freezing point of water. Uh, and I think that would, should hopefully bring down... Oh, there, there it was. Yeah, yeah, minus 4, minus 13. Yeah, give it, give it. Nice, I like it. I mean, it's already up to minus 12, so, you know, the, the, these temperatures will get smoothed out, but it might, might bring the temperatures down quicker. You never know. Yeah, another day has gone. Didn't even see a duplicate. Don't care. <laughs> So we're managing to hold a zero here. I mean, I say hold, it, it's there, it's zero, and then it moves along and it just increases in temperature amazingly much. So it must be, I don't know, it comes into range of the temperature shift plate or something like that. I can't see it back there, so I can't really. Is there an overlay to show us the, the buildings? No, not, not even on the temperature overlay. That's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. Um, so, yeah, that's all I can assume. But it does mean that we are actually getting some freezing temperatures in there. And slowly but surely, we are dragging those temperatures down. It's nice. Nice. Okay, so whilst we've got a bit of that on the go, you know what I'm going to do. We're going to mop that back up. I'm going to go utilities, temperature shift plate, some more ice. It, it's one of my favorite things to do right now. Let's try that and see if that will bring the temperature down somewhat. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I saw Mad Frank deliver some ice and it instantly melted, like instantly. It was gone. Okay, here comes some more ice. Oh, and it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's... Let's, let's, let's go back a, a step or two, shall we? I'm going to deconstruct that and this temperature shift plates. I want them out of here, and then we'll put the ice in place. I was just wondering why we we're getting so much power, and of course, here we go. We've got, like, some serious steam on the go. That's that's awesome. Oh, that, that is actually awesome. Uh, we've got water coming down here. It is fl flooding into the steam vent, just to make sure that we don't go into too high a temperature regime. Uh, it's going to be uh, erupting again, bringing some more temperature in. This all looks to be what? Uh, is this still too cold? Is it just just too cold? What temperature are we coming at? 70, and then we're leaving at... Doesn't really say. I wonder why this is breaking. There's no reason for it to. Okay, every now and then we're getting back into having no power. I'm not sure what's going on about that, but I'm hoping that this will come along and help a little bit. As soon as this last bit of ice gets... Uh, keeps Still keeps getting vaporized. Hmm... Yeah, it's not quite enough, but not quite chill enough, you know? It's uh, it's getting there, but it's still not great. How about if we um, do this? Let's get everybody on it, shall we? Let's just get everybody instantly on it. I believe we can also start letting through Miss Align. She's pretty good at this. Mad, uh, not Mad Frank, Forest, sorry. And, of course, Mimi. They, they all actually have... Um, suits as well atmospheric suits right oh forest is not actually a suit wearer let's uh let, let let's let him out and then turn, take him off the hey where you go no 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 For forest forest you're gonna be in big trouble if you don't get on up there go 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 oh no oh no we've got a we've got a we got a problem we got a problem he's incapacitated is anybody gonna come and help uh, I, I kind of hope so. I can't. Mad Frank, what are you doing? No, no, move to down here. I don't care how much you need to pee. There, there are definitely more important things to be getting on with right now. Uh, come on, let's let's do this. We got a hundred seconds, and you are the man. You are the man. I mean, is there even? Uh, n n no. Uh, Rella. No, no, no. <laughs> Please don't, guys. Please don't. How do, how do I how do I make sure he's on that list? Like, what's going on? Dr. Captain Subs, are you doing it? You're rescuing a friend. Okay, good work. It, it's a little much that you came into the hot zone without without protection, but um, okay. As soon as you get up and through this, I'm going to turn the red alert back off. Uh, but, ooh. Okay, I panicked there, but it's all good. That is happening far, far too often. 
Summer two girls, Luna and Mimi, seem to both be coming in to make this uh, ice plate over here. I am all about that because the temperature range in here is looking about 160, 169, nice. Uh, but I'm a little bit worried that whilst Luna is trying to make this, she is in fact going to have this melting on her. So let's uh, let's let the time run forwards and see what's going to happen. I'm hoping that actually we're going to get in there and get this made uh, because, as I say, we're trying to bring those temperatures down. 169 is very, very, very hot. Okay, there we go. We brought it down to 140. Let's, uh... Let's go about making a whole bunch more of these, shall we? We'll uh, definitely put one as more important than the other, and we'll see what happens. Okay, okay, this is good. Now, is she going to be able to build this one right here? We've got, ah, oh, minus 15. This should this should be fine. This should definitely lose a whole bunch of, um, of temperatures out of this. Oh, and here comes, who have we got? I think that was Jelly making a delivery over there, but of course the fact, ah, uh, uh, we'll just let her get on with that. We'll just let her get on with that. Okay, looks like these temperatures are going down. Are these temperatures going to be going down? 141 on the steam turbine. Hopefully this will bring it down. Ahem. <clears throat> No. No. Okay, hopefully this will bring the temperature down on the steam turbine. 141. No, was it really that bad? Okay, it's really that bad. Okay, today we're suffering power issues, and suffering power issues means that we end up with uh, little bits of petroleum coming through that are a little bit too strong there, too hot. Let's go and find out what's going on with our power. Up here we've got broken machines. Okay, that that's a thing. I suppose that uh, is something that we need to try and keep an eye on. Luna's coming along to make that work for us, but it's all because this uh, temperature here is still just far, far too hot. We need to try and get this down to 70, and it's going through 80 so i don't know exactly what we can do about that but we're gonna have to try and do something oh my gosh yeah it's just so hot in there maybe, maybe we will actually do the thing that i was talking about okay let's let's try and do that right now we're gonna go uh, automation i'm gonna want to put a knock gate in there i'm not I'm, i really don't know how this is gonna work but we'll we'll, we'll go with it uh, so this turns on when the cooling starts so we want to have it that when the cooling is going, this is turned off, right? I, I think that's going to be a thing. Okay, here comes Mad Frank to do the job. Hopefully he's got enough stuff to do everything he needs to do down here. Okay, maybe not. All right, bye. <laughs> but anyway, as I was trying to check out before we got interrupted with that, this is also appearing to run fine. Of course, we've got this water up here that seems to be having a bit of a trouble. Uh, does... I don't understand why, though. I literally do not understand why. There doesn't seem to be any water flowing through that is cold enough. All of these should be fine. I'm going to assume that it's just a knockover from previous times. Yeah, this is all like 20 degrees. Why it doesn't work, I don't know, beyond me. Okay, we're losing temperature, which means the steam turbines being less efficient, which means we're not producing as much power. It's a bit of a shame, bit of a shame, but it is actually ticking over. How is this going over here now? Okay, this has been turned off and is chilling down. Is it actually chilling, though? Tw tw uh, 83. Can we bring it down more? 84? Probably not. Okay, with this big carbon dioxide problem here, I think we're going to move it down towards somewhere where we can just dump it on top of a carbon scrubber. In particular... This one down here is the one I'm thinking of. How are we going to get down there? I don't know, but get down there we most definitely will do. Okay, I think I'm aware of how this is going to work now. We're going to bring it down this main line here. We're going to go around the cold stores. Oh, I should have put an extra jumpy line in there. Uh, and then doing that, we can bring this guy down here, this guy all the way down here. And actually, I'm just going to throw it in the top of that. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's try and make it jump over this, and then we'll be good, actually. Okay, it's definitely working. This was 84, now it's 78. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that we don't have more gases coming through here. Why isn't it going down? Like, ah, oh, because of no power. Because this isn't working. Mm, it's a bit of a feedback loop there, you know? I'm wondering if we want to actually take those power lines away and then use this power line to connect these. Yeah, might be better. Okay, so it turns out that if you have a wire um, build order put in over the top of a heavy wire, you're not allowed to destroy it. You've got to cancel that order before uh, being able to. That's, that's a bit of a shame, but here we are. <laughs> Oh, just three more bits of wire. Come on, Luna, you can do it. It's a good day for doing different wire jobs. Bam. Okay, and now everything should be flowing as and when it needs. That's going to slowly be taking away the power from here, but it's also done by the manual generator and fed from the grid, you know, when, when the grid's actually running. 
I'm going to class that as carbon dioxide dealt with. It should now just all spill out of here into this and get produced. Okay, and get um, converted, sorry. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, no. Jelly is suffocating. I mean, I can see why he's got a problem there. How did you even get here, buddy? Jelly, get out. Go. Be gone with you. Do what you need to do. Okay, the fact that we don't have a steady power source is really starting to drag on us. Um, hmm. Yes. Oh, this is totally going to work when it works. <laughs> so it looks like every small cluster of hydrogen bubbles here are bringing the temperature down just a little bit. But unfortunately, in these big gaps, the temperature is then rising back up a little bit. That's a little unfortunate. As you can see, it's bringing the thermosensor back up in temperature. And we need to bring it down just below 75. Just just below 75. 74 would be ideal, obviously. Okay, I think we've got a situation where all the hydrogen is going to have to back up in here before we get enough hydrogen flowing down to cool this down properly. And unfortunately, the way that these hydrogen bulk packets are coming through, they're so small that it's going to take a long, long time to back up here. In the time we've been talking, we've only backed up one extra bubble. It's, um... Yeah, it's, it, it's going to be a thing. Turns out base cooling is the thing that's stopping us at the finish of this episode today. Because, man, I just want this to tick over just a little bit and then we'll be happy. Okay, Jelly is on his way with an entire ice plate's worth of ice. I'm hoping so. Anyway, uh, then when we get here, he puts it in and I'm hoping we've got the build time to put it together i i don't think he's going to i don't think he's the man who's got a fast enough build time to finish this but let's let's get up to full speed and see which one's going to finish first are we going to get rid of that minus seven degrees of heat or is that yellow bar that unfortunately is hidden behind the red alert symbol is that gonna fill up i don't know i mean we could technically do that i don't know whether jelly would stop doing it at any point if i did so uh, i've got a feeling because he's building that actually no that is not the case all right here we go we're gonna fill this in wonderfully is it time to slow down? I don't know, because that is still going to take so long to finish. But there we go. Temperature shift plate. Uh, it brought our step. Oh, why are these still so hot? Well, I think we're probably going to have to leave it there today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got everything in place to begin the serious cooling down of this particular area. But unfortunately, the power is holding us back. So I will have to see you next time when we're going to try and fix up all of that power situation. I don't know what else we're going to be doing, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.